All right, guys, just want to give you a quick update uh, with the Marsoc 3 case. It's, uh, you know, it's shocking. It's one of these things. Prosecution uh, is incompetent because it seems like all, every witness they put on is supporting the arguments the defense is trying to make or, <laughs> let's say, are successfully making, or they actually know that there isn't any negligent or uh, any other, you know, criminal act other than, you know, perhaps they're trying to get them for having a drink while in Erbil, Iraq. And there again, every they can't find a witness to come on and say that people didn't drink while they were in Erbil, Iraq. So, you know, this is, you know, again, a case of incompetency by the prosecution, uh, overcharging by the prosecution, hoping to get some sort of a conviction. Um, and again, this is where the convening authority, everybody knew what was going on. And yet, you know, as an article I wrote three years ago talking about, you know, what would a warrior do? You would give the presumption of innocence to your most highly trained raiders. You would listen to what they said. You would look at the evidence, including video evidence, and you would realize there is no reason to charge these guys uh, in order to waste money with a court martial where you're bringing in eight other Marines, pulling them off the line, spending money on this trial for nearly a month, and having this last for over four years, uh, where you're, these warriors are not going out, getting their special uh, duty pay, they're not their jump pay, their scuba pay. Um, they're being pulled off the line, sitting around doing nothing for four years. Like, this is not the, the right way to deal with justice. So at the end of the day, uh, you know, you're getting one witness after another coming on, uh, you know, prosecution asking questions about how perhaps doctors or, or Chief Gilman misled people. And they're saying, no, that, that didn't happen. That every accusation that the prosecution is, be, is making is getting shot down with cross-examination, with the defense coming in, saying, look, the, these are just not factual, the emotional pleas that are being made by the prosecution. Even the doctor from Canada, the Canadian doctor who actually observed and looked at uh, Rodriguez said, you know, it, look, it, it probably was not this head injury that caused his death. You have other witnesses, medical doctors coming in and saying, no, the, 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 the oxygen flow didn't, it didn't stem from any head injury. So, you know, they, they found vomit in his throat. They believe he died of asphyxiation. And yet the, uh, the government, the prosecution, they're not willing to let this thing go. So anyway, the updates, you know, it's, it's almost like the defense doesn't even have to get on and present their case. Uh, the, the prosecution is making the defense's case for them. Uh, even, even the lead prosecutor uh, is acknowledging what a great job the defense is doing publicly. So um, stay tuned. Keep supporting. Uh, again, please support United American Patriots, UAP.org. It's because of your donations that we're able to fund these attorneys, these civilian attorneys, to go and fight this right fight. So Semper Fi and God bless.